busy in the last um, nine months is, is kind of finally getting a foothold in American radio. I think with all the excitement about them um, rediscovering dance music again. I started working with Clear Channel last year, who are the biggest owner of radio stations in America, to start a new electronic channel on, um, on iHeart, which is their digital platform. As of sitting here right now, I think I'm on 116 stations in all the, all the major markets. So um, it's starting to really kind of scale up to the point where you can think you might be able to kind of change things and, and kind of influence kind of breaking music in the same way that I have, I suppose, in the UK all those years with, with Radio 1, which was more of a kind of monopoly back in the day. Um, so it's, that's, that's very exciting. Um, and it's going really, really well, and it's kind of drawing me more to the American market. So that's where I'm headed after here. I started DJing so long ago that um, there wasn't any notion of superstar DJs or anything like that. When I started, when I left school, you know, DJs did weddings and bar mitzvahs and stuff like that. And um, the notion of actually becoming famous as a DJ, or it, it meaning that you end up here, you know, in Hong Kong. And, and back then, really, the only way of really making a name for yourself, DJs didn't make music either. It was, it was much harder. Um, so actually, getting on the radio was the most obvious way. I started out doing pirate radio and then got a break actually as a journalist going up to Radio 1 when I was, when I was very young. Um, and eventually I got back there and I, I joined in 1991 um, and I've been there ever since. So I kind of arrived at the right time after the, the rave scene. Isn't then arriving on Radio 1 playing house music. Um, I was like the kind of Pied Piper really. No one had ever done that before on Radio 1. So um, it, was, it, was a, it was a perfect time just as ministry was starting cream all the big brands that you, you know today were just literally beginning, so um, it was, it was came to the right place at the right time. I mean, I've done a lot of other things involved in music, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm kind of become known as a DJ, but I ran a record company for nearly 20 years, um, which was the label London Records and FFR. Um, and took a break and I just started that again um, with Warner Brothers and signed um, Jamie Jones' band, actually, Hot Nature. I also involved with William Morris, the agency. Um, so I kind of had, I had proper jobs as well that go on with the DJ. So. Sunday. I'll probably cook in Sunday roast for the family. Or on my bike. I'm a big road cyclist, so I never get enough time to do it, but just disappearing off on the bike somewhere. 